Applied Linguistics Group uploaded this video for BS English students. Dr. Khalid Malik, the founder, has a PhD in Applied Linguistics TESOL. He taught at many foreign universities with 25 research papers, 6 books, and in a postdoc fellowship abroad, also an approved PhD supervisor of HEC. Join Applied Linguistics Group at youtube.com slash at 1966 Pakistani or use a QR code to join our Facebook group at BS English, Level, BS 8th Semester Elective Subject Course Code, ELL 424, Clinical Linguistics Question number 01, what is clinical linguistics? This is a branch of applied linguistics which deals with identifying, describing, and treating individuals with language-based disabilities. This applies linguistic theories to provide solutions for communication disorders. Practitioners of clinical linguistics typically work in speech-language pathology departments or linguistics departments. They conduct research with the aims of improving the assessment, treatment, and analysis of disordered speech and language, and offering insights to formal linguistic theories. Clinical Linguistics Clinical Linguistics is a subdivision of applied linguistics that deals with the description, analysis, and treatment of language disorders, especially the application of linguistic theory in the field of speech-linguistic pathology. The study of the linguistic aspect of communication disorders is relevant to a broader understanding of language and linguistic theory. The International Clinical Phonetics and Linguistics Association is an unofficial organization of the field and was formed in 1991. The Journal of Clinical Linguistics and Phonetics is a major scientific journal of the field and was founded by Martin J. Ball. Clinical linguistics practitioners typically work in speech pathology or linguistics departments. They conduct research to improve the assessment, treatment and analysis of speech and language disorders, and offer insights into formal linguistic theories. While most clinical linguistics journals still focus only on English linguistics, there has been a movement towards comparative clinical linguistics in multiple languages. History of Clinical Linguistics the history of the study of communication disorders dates back to the ancient Greeks. However, modern clinical linguistics is largely rooted in the 20th century, when the term, clinical linguistics, became more widespread in the 1970s, when it was used as the title of a book by the distinguished linguist David Crystal in 1981. The father of clinical linguistics, Crystal's book Clinical Linguistics has become one of the most influential books in the field as this new discipline has been described in great detail. The application of linguistic science to the analysis of speech and language disorders has always been necessary, but not well understood. Roman Jakobson, a Russian structural linguist, was one of the first to try to apply linguistic theory to the study of speech pathology. Published in 1941, his book Kindersprache, Afasi und Aljmimain Lorcasets recorded his analysis of language use in language acquisition by children and adults with acquired aphasia. Although Jacobson's book gained influence in the English-speaking world only after the publication of the translated version of child language, aphasia, and phonological universals in 1968, its influence was felt particularly in the United States and the United Kingdom, where changes in the approach to phonological research were adopted grammatical, semantic, and other areas of language disorders. His observation that deviant sound patterns obey rules analogous to those of common language systems remains a guiding principle in clinical linguistics even today. In particular, the same approach was adopted by Christall and his colleagues when developing a set of procedures for profiling the language. Disciplines of Clinical Linguistics these are the main disciplines of clinical linguistics. Clinical phonetics. Phonetics is a branch of linguistics that studies the sounds of human speech. Clinical phonetics includes the use of phonetics to describe speech differences and disorders, including information about speech sounds and perceptual skills used in a clinical setting. Clinical phonology. Phonology is one area of linguistics that deals with the systematic organization of sounds in spoken languages and signs in sign languages. Unlike clinical phonetics, 
Clinical phonology focuses on the application of phonology to interpret the sounds of speech in a particular language and how it works with phonemes. Clinical prosody. In linguistics, prosody is associated with elements of speech that are not separate phonetic segments, vowels and consonants, but are properties of syllables and larger units of speech. Prosody is important for communicative functions such as expressing emotions or affective states. Clinical morphology. Morphology is the study of words, their formation and their relationship to other words in the same language. It analyzes word structure and word parts such as stems, root words, prefixes and suffixes. Clinical syntax. Syntax is a set of rules, principles and processes that govern the structure of sentences in a given language, usually including word order. Each language has its own set of syntax rules, but all languages have syntax in one form or another. Clinical semantics. Semantics is the study of the interpretation of signs or symbols used by agents or communities in specific circumstances and contexts. Clinical pragmatics. Pragmatics is a subdivision of linguistics and semiotics that studies the ways in which context influences meaning. This refers to the description and classification of pragmatic disorders, their explanation in terms of various pragmatic, linguistic, cognitive and neurological theories, as well as their assessment and treatment. Clinical discourse. In corpus linguistics, discourse refers to the study of a language expressed in corpuses, samples, of real-world text, the codified language of a field of study, or a statement that defines the connections between language, structure, and agency. Applications of clinical linguistics Linguistic concepts and theories are applied to the assessment, diagnosis, and treatment of language disorders. These theories and concepts are usually associated with psycholinguistics and sociolinguistics. Clinical linguists take the understanding of language and linguistic disciplines, as mentioned above, to explain language disorders and find approaches to their treatment. Crystal pointed out that the clinical application of linguistics is highly relational. In her book Clinical Linguistics, Crystal refers to many well-known disorders with linguistic knowledge. Here are some examples from his book. Voice orders. Include sub- and supra-laryngeal settings involved in dysphonia, syllabic and polysyllabic difference to account for the volume and timbre of the voice. The distinction between synchronic and diachronic should be used for a more recognizable voice quality. Interaction of non-segmental phonetic and phonological variables, pages 192 to 193. Cleft palate syndrome. Phonological variables and utterances must be interpreted in terms of perception and production. Distribution of segments in the utterance, page 193. Fluency. The segmental phonetic level, taking into account lengthening, muscle tension disorders, can affect speech reproduction phonologically, smooth transition at the prosodic level, tempo, pause, etc. Semantic factors, including avoidance of certain lexical terms combined with grammatical structure between adult and child. Page 194. Aphasia. Understanding and reproducing speech requires non-segmental organization of speech involvement. The concepts of segment, feature, and process can aid in the analysis of phonological problems. Page 194. Dyspraxia. Requires repeated analysis in terms of segments, features, and processes for phonological implementation. More serious cases will require an analysis of abnormalities in non-segmental phonology. Page 195. Deafness. A systematic analysis of segmental and non-segmental phonological organizations and phonetic abilities, semantics, grammatical structure. And sociolinguistic interaction studies are vital dimensions that cannot be neglected for the oral production and comprehension of the deaf, page 195. The future of clinical linguistics. Previous work by linguists such as Crystal has been applicable to a wide range of communication disorders at all linguistic levels. However, with the influx of new ideas from disciplines such as genetics, cognitive neuroscience, and neuroscience, 
among others, it is no longer enough to simply focus on the linguistic characteristics of a particular speech disorder. In today's context, one of the challenges of clinical linguistics involves identifying methods to combine knowledge in different fields to build a more holistic understanding. Another aspect that requires further work is the transformation of the general research conducted into effective tools of clinical practice. Applied Linguistics Group uploaded this video for BS English students. Dr. Khalid Malik, the founder, has a PhD in Applied Linguistics TESOL. He taught at many foreign universities with 25 research papers, 6 books, and in a postdoc fellowship abroad, also an approved PhD supervisor of HEC. Join Applied Linguistics Group at youtube.com slash at 1966 Pakistani or use a QR code to join our Facebook group at